Iran has launched a new crackdown on social media. You know, really important issues here. You don't you don't want kids to have fun on the internet. So Reuters explains they arrested fashion models active on photo sharing websites and a blog website manager after Tehran's top leader declared war on un-Islamic thoughts on the internet. Eight members of a modeling network were arrested and accused of publishing photos of women uh, without the obligatory hijab headscarf on the picture-sharing application Instagram. State television also broadcast live confessions of the models. Uh, and they continue here. The Grand Ayatollah was quoted as saying, This is a real battlefield. The clerics and seminary students should prepare to enter this field and fight against deviations and erroneous thoughts. Okay, that's hilarious in so many ways. Um, because you're not in the battlefield of ideas, as you claim. Uh, you are censoring and banning and shutting down those counter-ideas because you dislike them. And he's doing it under the guise of it is a deviation and erroneous thoughts because it's not uh, abiding with my strict interpretation of Islam. Okay, fuck off. You should let people do whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody else. Religious or not. So, they can tell you, hey, look, I'm Muslim and I disagree with your interpretation. And, you know, for you to say, I override that, well, then you're a prick. There's no other way to describe that. And what he's doing, what the Grand Ayatollah is doing here, and what the religious th authorities are doing here, is they're raising a generation of thugs to bully and censor and restrict other people in Iran who are more secular, who are more embracing of freedom and liberty, and who want to express themselves. This is a recipe for disaster down the road. Now, Iran is already super young on average, and there are many more people in that younger generation who are much more secular than the old dinosaurs who run the country. So you're setting up a conflict, man. You're making it so that they're going to rebel, and they're going to despise the government. They already despise the government. And they're compounding that problem, and the hilarious thing is he thinks he's keeping it real. Like the Grand Eyes, well, un-Islamic thoughts. We must crack down on this on the internet because it's the right thing to do. No, it's not. You're just a cranky, old, theocratic, authoritarian bigot and an idiot. And you got your young brainwashed thugs out there backing up your ridiculous agenda. And look at how far they're going. They're going as far as arresting fashion models, women, probably beautiful Iranian women, who are not wear, uh, covering up their heads sufficiently. We must crack down on you because I am in total and utter control and my interpretation of Islam says you must have no freedom. <laughs> well, guess what? You've just set up a recipe for to create more secularists, more atheists, more agnostics, more liberal Muslims in Iran than you could ever imagine. I mean, you're doing the job of the West for them. If the West's, West's goal was to, hey, let's have more secular people, let's have more freedom and liberalism in Iran, well, now you're, you're cracking down so much that there's going to be a backlash. And they're going to say, fuck off with your stupid rules. They're draconian. They're dumb. And that's what it comes down to. You can't, outside of just saying, religion, so, you know, you can't disagree with me. There is no defense to actions like this, you know? You're a woman and you showed your hair, you slut. How dare you? That argument carries no water if, if outside of the bounds of religion. Because the only thing is, uh, it's my religion and it's, it, these are the rules from the Almighty, so that's why I'm enforcing them. Well, as soon as you realize that's not true, all you are is a cranky old guy who's trying to control young women. So then people go, well, fuck off. You, don't, you have no right to do that. I'm gonna do what I want, it's got nothing to do with you. And then TikTok, it's only a matter of time until these guys are in serious trouble. So Iran, as a general rule, Iran has actually been more lenient than, for example, Saudi Arabia, who are even more, you know, ultra-conservative, and they're, they're Salafis, it's a Wahhabi government that's even worse than the Shia Islamist government in Iran. But now they're cracking down because they see the rise of liberalism and freedom and secularism and education brought about by the internet and Western entertainment and stuff. And they might see the writing on the wall. So now they're fighting hard for their own survival. And by the way, this is more evidence that they can't win in the battlefield of ideas. If you really thought you had the better argument, you would need to ban and censor and lock people up for this. You could just tell them they're wrong and explain it and they would understand because you're right. 
but you're not right. So that's why you have to resort to these measures, because you know we win on the battlefield of ideas.